Hello and welcome to another Lawn Clippings video by Lawn Fawn. Today is our introduction to our brand new set, Gnome Sweet Gnome. I love this set. It's so happy and it's perfect for spring and for creating scenes and all sorts of fun stuff. So let's go ahead and start stamping out some of these guys. First we're going to stamp out the gnome because of course this is Gnome Sweet Gnome. So uh, he's kind of the star of the show here. He is so cute. I just love him. He just looks absolutely adorable. So that is the gnome. And this set is perfect for creating simple note cards or really complicated scenes. I mean, you can do so much with it. Um, it kind of is just up to your imagination. It's really fun to pair with the critters too. Um, so that's a really great set to do that with. Um, right here we have a little mushroom in this set and this little mushroom is so cute. I think it'd be really cute to do a Super Mario card for a boy using this mushroom, you know, the one-up mushroom. Or do kids still play Super Mario? Well, you could do it for um, for an older guy who played Super Mario growing up, but uh, but I think that looks so cute and it's kind of cute when his little hand is out there kind of touching the mushroom. I think that looks really adorable. <clears throat> his little hand there like that too would be really cute for a sentiment because it kind of looks like he's showing it. So I think that looks really, really adorable. This set has the cutest little bee. I absolutely love this bee. He's just so sweet. And we have a really cute sentiment to go with him too. So here's this sweet bee. And then we have a fun little trail for the bee that can also be used um, for, you know, birds or any other flying critters that, that you may have. And there's some birds in this set too. So here's this little, it's already all curved for you and everything. And it looks so cute, stamped out. So you'll see right there. And I just inked up part of it. And you can kind of ink up whatever you want to create the length of trail that you want. So that would be a really cute, like simple little note card. Could have that along the bottom. And then you could use this fun sentiment that we have, which is our be happy sentiment. And this is just so sweet and it's kind of punny and cute, but I think it would be really cute for a set of note cards to give somebody. So here is the be happy which is so sweet. So we have that there. Another one of these lawn ornaments that we have, of course, is a pink flamingo, which was the first lawn ornament I ever owned. I had a pink flamingo before I had my lawn fawn, so, <laughs> so I do love my pink flamingos. I'm originally from Florida, so <laughs> I just love them. And uh, here we go. These are so fun to stamp out. I did a card, I'll show it on the blog, sometime soon, um, but I did a card with them all lined up in different shades of pink and it looks so cute. Just a really clean card on white, really adorable. So let's go ahead and add some color to this and then we'll keep stamping out. Okay, so I added some color here to my images. It's always so much cuter when there's some color. The gnome is so much fun to color. I love giving him a red hat. Um, these images are also really great for paper piecing. And we have our brand new paper, which was work really perfect for that. I might try the flamingo at the end of the video. But I just colored these in really simply, nothing too complicated. And I wanted to show you how I do the bees wings. I'm taking a really light blue marker. This is B00. And I'm just going around the outside of the wings, just like that. And that makes it look sometimes a little bit more white. And if you just didn't want to leave the wings completely, completely blank and add some color, I think that looks really cute like that. So it just kind of makes that, that blue kind of, or the white kind of stand out, that blue around the outside and adds a little something to it. So let's stamp out some more images. This set also has some grass. So I thought we would go ahead and stamp that out. I've got my long block here. With long stamps, I like to put them on my on my paper first or on my work surface and then pick them up. And that just means it's gonna be straight on my block and look really nice. So I'm gonna take some uh, light green ink here and just stamp out the grass for our little lawn ornaments up here. Just like that. You can see how cute that looks. Um, absolutely adorable and so easy to stamp really quickly with just some light green ink and it looks great. Um, and the grass would be perfect for a lot of the critter sets and things like that too. So I really like this long strip of grass and it would be really easy to keep stamping it and just keep continuing it also. Okay, so one of the next images from this set is this really cute house. Um, and this is kind of the little gnome, uh, the little gnome house, and it's really great for creating scenes with the gnome. And this house, of course, goes along with our great sentiment here, which is there's gnome place like home. And I've got a long block here. I'm just gonna pick up this sentiment, just like we did the grass, and just stamp it out. It's such a great sentiment. I think it's really cute. It's punny, and it'd be sweet for, this would be really great for a layout, really great for a lot of things. Um, and it's a really long, 
sentiment as you can see so it actually went off the sides but I actually think that looks really cool because I just have this little strip cut out but I actually like how it kind of goes off the sides like that it looks like it could almost be kind of a continuing like it just kept stamping over and over again so I look like that looks really great it's really cute and you can also with these long sentiments you know because it's a clear stamp the magic of the clear stamp you can go ahead and curve them too so you could do a, a really great curve like this just like that and just put it on your block that way so there's a lot you can do with this stamp and then we've got this really sweet little watering can which is just great for you know creating these fun little scenes little water drops that you can have coming out of this watering can just like that really really cute really like that and then we have these really cute little flowers and we have the stems uh, and the flowers separately so that you could stamp them in different colors and um, and kind of create all sorts of different little fun little flowers. So there's two flowers, uh, two flower tops, so you can kind of stamp this stem twice and then use your different flower tops to create kind of a little garden with, with the uh, with the little watering can there. And I, I just like this because if you didn't want to color it in, you could stamp the leaves in green and then stamp um, the flowers in you know pink or purple or whatever matches your card so I really like that idea and we also have a little center if you want to add it in the flower and this is just a fun little polka dot too if if you had anything kind of you know kind of fun that you wanted to do and it'd be really great to stamp this in the yellow so I'm just gonna get I'm gonna take out this orange something a little bit brighter and you can actually just stamp that right in the center just like that and it looks really really sweet but the flower doesn't necessarily need it but if you wanted to have add a little center I think that's really great and then we have another really great little sentiment, and that's just hi. So this is perfect for everyday cards. If you know someone that loves gnomes, it'd be really great for creating a little a little note just to say hi, just to pop in the mail. Um, and it just looks really, really cute. So here's this sentiment right here. And it's just sweet and simple and really easy for any kind of card that you're creating, really. It's a great sentiment and a great little font. In our sets, we have a lot of our sets, we have extra exclamation points. So we have one right here. And what's great about this is you can add it or you don't have to. So right there it looks really really sweet with the high, but the high looks perfect without it too. So you can kind of pick and choose what you want to use with it. And uh, let's go ahead and add some color to this. Okay, so we have some really fun coloring here. We have this cute gnome, sweet gnome house, this little mushroom house, the little flowers which you could keep stamping and create a whole garden, and this fun watering can. So just absolutely sweet for creating these fun little garden scenes. And then I'm gonna stamp out our last few stamps here. We have a really great bird bath. I love this bird bath. So here we have a little flying bird. So what's cute about this bird is you can have this guy kind of flying in just like that. Bird. And now we have this cute little standing bird, which is so adorable for putting on the side of the little bird bath, just like that. I just love that. I think it's so cute. And this is a perfect time, too, to use this little, uh, the little swirly whirly here for the bee. Um, we can use some, of, some light blue ink, and I think this would look really cute. So real fast here, I'm going to go ahead and color these in. Okay, so here we have our little bird bath all colored in. I just did some kind of heavy shading on the side here. And we've got this cute little scene there, which I think would just be so cute for a lot of cards. And you could use these really fun bee happy sentiments with the bee flying by or the high. And you could combine all of these different images and create some really fun cards and also combine them with other lawn fawn images like our Critter series and create some really cool stuff. So I thought really fast, I would just show you the paper piecing with the flamingo. So right here, I'm just going to get the flamingo on my block here. So we've got our new Bright Side Collection paper pack and this is the little mini mini pad. What's fun about this is all of the designs are 50% shrunk down from our paper so you get smaller patterns that are perfect for cards and paper piecing and really great for layouts too actually. I mean anything you can think of when you just need a smaller pattern. So I love this pink. It's kind of like a polka dot but the dots are really random. So it's really fun. So a really easy thing to do would just be to go ahead and stamp out our flamingo here. Okay, so now I have this little flamingo cut out of our coral paper, and um, and I'm gonna go ahead and color in his little beak real fast. See how cute this looks when you line it all up. And I think it just looks adorable that way. 
so cute. So let's just go over all the fun stuff in Gnome Sweet Gnome. We have this really great gnome. He's kind of the star of the show. He's so fun to color and for paper piecing too. Be cute to paper piece his little shirt and hat and things. And then we've got this really great long strip of grass that's great for creating these fun scenes with this set. We have a little mushroom that can, is kind of like his little pal and I think would be really cute for Super Mario cards. I really want to make that. And then we have this really fun plank flamingo um, which we just paper pieced and here is, it is colored in. We have this really great bee and I added some light color blue to the wings to make that white really pop on the bee's wings and we have a really great trail that's perfect for the bee and for the birds that we have too. This is really fun sentiment, be happy, which is just so cute and really great for little note cards. I think really cute for little note card sets too. And we've got high also, which is another sentiment, which is just fun for everyday cards. We have these other really great images that are perfect for creating the little garden scenes in this set. And that's our little watering can and the little water drips. And then this fun uh, little flowers where you can mix and match the tops of the flowers into different colors. And then we've got this little house, um, which is just so cute. The little mushroom house, which goes perfectly with our sentiment. There's no place like home. And it's a really long sentiment. So you can see here I stamped it so that the edges are going off the side, which I think looks kind of cool. Um, but you can also, of course, if you had a, a, a normal size card, then it would fit across. Um, and then right here we have this really fun bird bath and these two little birds that you can kind of use and create the scene here and I colored this in but this is perfect for for paper piecing also we have a really great gray chevron in our paper that would look really cool with that and here I just stamped a little part of the little trail here just so that it looks like the birds flying off the page and onto this little uh, little bird bath here and then we have our fun flamingo all paper piece with the bright side paper which looks so cute and I think this would be really cute to have a bunch of flamingos in different patterns on your page and what's really fun is you can just cut out the body and then stamp the legs on your actual card and then just cover it, cover the body up all paper piece um, and then you get a really great dimension with your flamingos too. So this is Gnome Sweet Gnome. Thank you so much for watching and I hope you guys have an amazing day. Bye!